Hello, student. So let's try to solve uh, one problem from CSIR NET 2022 examination. And this exam was held in month of September. And uh, it's a wonderful problem. Let me explain this problem. So there is a one operator is defined and which is known as differential operator, which is defined as one plus D upon DX. And what we have to do, we have to write this particular operator in a matrix form. In we have to represent in a matrix form in a space of the polynomials, which is spanned by in a space of a polynomial, which is spanned by F1 is equal to one, F2 is equal to X and F3 is equal to X square. So we have to write this particular operator A in a matrix form. Obviously we have to write it in three cross three matrix form. So what we are just going to do, we just assume there is some function Fx and which is given by a1 into 1, a2 into x, and a3 into x square. And one can be, and this can be written as this fx operator or this fx function in a matrix form, I can represent as a1, a2, a3. What is meaning of that? Meaning of that a1 is the coefficient of the constant term. So this first place, this first place is the coefficient of constant term. This second place is the coefficient of linear term. And this third place is the coefficient of a squared term. So this is very uh, straightforward. We can mentally and uh, uh, think that this polynomial can be represented by this. Okay. And here one is just a number. So I can represent one as my identity operator. So one is my identity operator. So I can write something like this. So this is my a one operator. We can easily use this. Now the whole idea is how I will write D upon DX operator. So what we will do, we will just operate D upon DX and we will operate on fx, then what we will get? We will get a2 plus 2a3x. And now we will represent this function as a matrix form with the analogy of this particular column matrix. So what I can do, so first place is the constant, the coefficient of constant term. So this will be a2. The second place is the coefficient of linear term. So that will be 2a3. And the third place is nothing but zero because there is not any square term. And I can write this function as f dash x. So obviously, if you will differentiate anything, that will be you will get f dash x. And what is the basic uh, nature of uh, basic uh, definition of uh, operator d f x will give us f dash x. So this is basic definition of operator. So you have to use this particular definition. Now, I can assume this is some square matrix. This is column matrix. And this is again column matrix. So this is definition of operator D. So I can represent my D operator as D11, D12, D13, D21, D23, D, sorry, D22, D23, D31, D32, D33, which will operate on given function that is a1, a2, a3, and which will give the function a2, 2, a3, and 0. And by this particular equation, so I can, this is written in a form of function, and this is written in form of matrix, and whatever the matrix is given, whatever matrix we have uh, just chosen and then we have used our property of differentiation and we get this thing. Now the whole idea is how we will get all these nine elements. So let's go for this final exercise. So I am just uh, removing all this part and we have basically the equation is can be written as D11 A1 plus D12, A2, plus D13, A3, must be equal to A2, 
So from here, we will equate the coefficient of a1, a2, and a3. So we will get d11 is equal to 0, d12 is equal to 1, d13 is equal to 0. Wonderful. Similarly, we will go for second one, and this is very interesting. So d21 a1, d22 a2, and plus d23 a3 is equal to 2 time a3. So what will happen here? d21 is equal to 0, d22 is equal to 0, but d23 is equal to 2. And now, last thing is d31 a1, d32 a2, plus d33 a3 is equal to 0. That means all other term d31 is equal to 0. d, so this is your d, this is your also d. So d32 is equal to 0, d33 is equal to 0. So what is my D matrix? So D upon DX can be identified as D matrix, which is given by 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0. So this is my D upon DX matrix. And now we have to finally write the matrix A that is 1 plus DX. So what is 1 plus DX? So I can use this space or you can remove this one. So the A matrix can be written as 1 plus D and uh, this can be written as 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 plus this D matrix can be 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0 2, 0, 0, 0. And this can be written as 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1. So this will be, and I think this is uh, nothing but the option number 1. Or option A is the correct one. Let me check there. So the option is, yes. So this is the option and this will be correct answer. So option A is the correct one. So it's a wonderful question. It's a wonderful. So for this course, to solving this question, I really thank to my team, mainly Mukadder sir, Alok sir, and my student Kulvinder and Pinaki, who all suggest different methods and different techniques. And finally, we all reach at to this particular uh, method to solve this particular problem. So it's a a very very interesting problem. You have to solve this particular, and you can also. Just check whether you can write one as this form also in a basis of this, because if one will at, uh, operate on some vector, you will get the same thing. So why you will get this diagonal matrix with coefficient one. So this is fundamental question. One of the best question ever asked in for a matrix or for polynomials or so, or for operators. So you have to just practice this question. Thank you everyone.